It was last year when news broke that Fitzroy Crossing-based Shire of Derby West Kimberley councillor Jeff Davis had been disqualified from sitting on council, leaving only one Fitzroy councillor at the table. The Shire President sent me an email saying we will schedule the meeting for the 10th of December. So I got home on the Monday night, uh, Tuesday I went back to work, the Wednesday doing the same. And uh, then I, I got a call from somebody in Derby who said, uh, are you going to, you're on the council meeting today? And I went, there's no council meeting today, it's on the 10th. And they said, no, no, it's at four o'clock this afternoon. And uh, so I made the 10th, and this is about three o'clock. I made attempts to contact the Shire to dial in, and uh, I didn't get any reply from the Shire. So I assumed either there wasn't a meeting or the meeting was already on and it was too late to get in on it. Uh, that was on uh, Wednesday. Um, Thursday, I didn't think much. I, I, I just didn't do anything about it, and then because I didn't think there was a problem, I rang the Shire president on another matter, and uh, he told me I was no longer a councillor. <laughs> so I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "You've been disqualified." Councillor Davis had been disqualified for not attending three council meetings in a row, a requirement under Western Australia's Local Government Act. He had the right to dispute the disqualification with the state's administrative tribunal, a decision he decided to take late last year. He was contemplating whether I do dispute it or not, but I, I, the, as I say, the one of the meetings, yes, I, I abrogated my responsibility and didn't do the right thing and, you know, deserve a slap over the wrist for that. Uh, the other one, I was crook. I, you know, I'm, I couldn't give notice that I wasn't going to be there because I thought I was going to be. And the third one, I made huge efforts to uh, participate in it, but the, the mechanisms of council um, didn't allow that. Last week, the tribunal decided that Jeff Davis was in fact not disqualified from council and that he was still a councillor. How did they come to that decision? As we talked about earlier, you are automatically disqualified from council under WA's Local Government Act if you fail to show up and don't seek leave of absence for three council meetings in a row. Councillor Jeff Davis didn't show up to the September or October meetings. When the November meeting came around on the 26th of that month, it had to be called off for other reasons. The Shire President, Jeff Harawa, then rescheduled the meeting for two days later, on the 28th of November. The issue here is that under the Local Government Act, councillors are required to be given 72 hours notice of a council meeting. The notice given of this meeting was just 26 hours. Despite the Shire arguing that the meetings were all conducted in accordance with the Local Government Act, the State Administrative Tribunal decided that with 26 hours notice was insufficient and that Jeff Davis was in fact not disqualified from council. Councillor Davis is expected to be at the next council meeting. Here to discuss this further with us is the Shire President of the Shire of Derby, West Kimberley, Jeff Harawa. Jeff, welcome back into the Wonky Radio Studio. Good afternoon. Uh, can you tell us what your perspective on the whole situation is? When you say my perspective, all I did was just follow the process. Um, Jeff failed to turn up to two council meetings. Um, that's something that we have no control over. It's up to each councillor to be uh, responsible for their their participation and, and for them to turn up. Um, and I can say that it is not the responsibility of staff. We get on there, we, we take the responsibility of council very, very seriously. Um, but in saying that, um, the third one, that's uh, the third meeting that he missed. After three meetings, you're automatically dismissed. So that's a process that's, that's not uh, part of the council or part of my role. It just automatically goes to the CEO, and the CEO makes a call to um, to uh, dismiss the councillor. Um, and at this, and then it goes to the SAT if that councillor wants to to contest it. Um, this one went to the SAT, and it, it's just sad that it took so long because you know the representation that um, Fitzroy Crossing missed out on. Um, I don't think it was good enough. That that's my perspective. That uh, SAT took so long. Mm. Given that, uh, from the information we received back, it was it was a technicality, um, and we would have welcomed Jeff back earlier if, if we could have. 
Yeah, well, the, obviously the technicality, I've read through the, the decision and it was that um, the council meeting didn't have enough notice before, before the council was put That's out. That's correct. Yeah, if I can talk you through what happened um, November last year, uh, the council had a council meeting here. We had two representatives from um, Fitzroy Crossing and we're trying hard to uh, involve Fitzroy Crossing in, in the council um, decisions as well. Uh, we only had four councillors um, that came across from, from Derby, um, and there were two in Perth waiting to dial in. I personally had not heard from, from any of the councillors from Fitzroy Crossing, um, and I assumed, which I should not have, I assumed that um, those councillors would turn up. Uh, consequently, we didn't have a quorum, so I took um, advice from uh, from the CEO and from lawyers on when I could govern, and that was my primary uh, primary objective was to get was to be able to govern um, and to get a council meeting happening as soon as possible. I took that advice, um, and then whatever happened after that is it's uh, sort of out of my hands. Yeah, so, so obviously then that didn't occur, and, and that, that was really the, the technicality, which is why Jeff has now been reappointed back to the council. What's the, the situation now with, with, uh, with Jeff? Um, is, he, is he going to be back, back on the council as of next meeting? Uh, I assume he is. Um, I'm not, not, not across the whole, um, uh, all the technicalities behind that, but yeah, and, and we welcome him on. We, we want representation and good representation from uh, Fitzroy Crossing.